Hi, today I would like to show you some string handling in Perl. And uh, this is a common observed problem. You have a DNA sequence and you want to determine where and how often the restriction enzymes cut. So I've prepared a small application. Here you can see the sequence which is of course for purposes uh, that you can easily see what the program does, re relatively short. So this is uh, the sequence and uh, this is the pattern what we look for is which is GATCC -G which is obviously the recognition side of the restriction enzyme ECOR1. So uh, the first of all we want to determine the number of cuts in the sequence. So you can use the match operator. The match operator uh, searches the expression with a flag global uh, for the occurrence of the pattern GGATCC within the sequence. And the whole uh, result of this is assigned to an array pattern. So this array pattern now consists of all the GGATCCs found. So and in order to determine how often the restriction enzyme cuts, what we simply has, have to do is we have to uh, find out how long the array is. And, and this you can easily do by assigning the array to a scalar. So number of cuts uh, is uh, the uh, is assigned the array and, and this uh, what, what it does it just determines the, uh, the length of the array and then we can then just print out the sequence for control purposes and also the number of cuts. So the next thing you might want to do is you want to determine the fragment length, the length of the fragments in, in this um, sequence and for this it's very convenient to use a split uh, expression and then you can uh, split uh, the again the sequence after each occurrence of the uh, dollar expression so after each occurrence of GGATCC uh, that's, that's simply it you can get the fragments and uh, if you assign this to a, a list and then you just print out each of the fragments in this for each uh, loop and uh, with together with the length of the fragment, so you can get the the fragments as well as uh, the respective length. Now, if you want to determine the cut position, uh, this is also very easily done. You also you also use a match operator, and then you uh, include in this um, regular expression you include uh, some sequence before the dollar ex expression is found, and. Uh, so this is um, now the, the this expression searches for the longest occurrence of DNA fragments before uh, GGATCC occurs, and if you if you do this, you um, and uh, if you um, find out if this occurs in dollar sequence, you can uh, Perl generates this uh, automatic array uh, plus, and in the position uh, one of the array there is the the end. Of uh, this uh, of this um, DNA sequence in front of the expression in uh, brackets, so it's the beginning of the expression. And if you run the program, we can see that is exactly what it does. It gives the number of uh, cuts, which is three in this case. It gives the uh, fragments, which is just a very short fragment, and then some a bit longer fragments, and then in the end, it's uh, one more nucleotide. And uh, we also list the beginning of this um, uh, cut positions. So we can check this if this is really true. Uh, the last uh, uh, cut position in descending order should be 35. So if we count from the back, starting from 42, we end up with a position 35 for the occurrence of the of the last GGATCC. If we count further backwards to position 21, we can see another GGATCC occurring, and of course, uh, the first one is at position 1GG.